feels bad for me. First off, happy week in my life, another vlog. Um, This week I'm getting my life back together, but I just left Pilates. I'm in the Starbucks drive through I put on Sophia with an F because she had Jay Cutler on, Alex had Kristen Cavallari on, drama, right? Sophia starts off the ad read or whatever in the episode with, this is for everyone with a vagina, like so loud. It's blasting in my car. I'm at the place to like take my order and the woman goes, um, hello miss? <laughs> So, I hate me. I, no, I hate me. I hate being me. I like myself. I just hate being myself sometimes, you know? All right, y'all. I'm back from Pilates. Showered. Got ready. I'm just going to be working from home for the next few hours. And then tonight, I'm trying out a new restaurant in Elam. I just got a package from Daily Harvest. This week, I'm actually home for two whole weeks. So, I'm getting back into my routine feeling so good. I'm doing a bunch of workouts and just like eating better and cooking from home and just everything that I love. That's what we're doing these two weeks. So this vlog is really just, you know, kind of getting back on track. I made some healthy ramen, well healthy, like healthier ramen last night, which I will share on Instagram and TikTok. And it was really, really good. So I have that as leftovers. And then I also have another recipe I want to try out. I have a big box from Daily Harvest right now, which I work with them on the podcast. Don't be trashy. That's what Molly and I used to say to Coconut when she would get into the trash when she was a puppy. We would say, Coconut, why are you so trashy? Always, so good memories. So I've got a bunch of stuff for smoothies. Love that. I will say I wasn't consistent with taking my apostrophe pills the past few days because I was in Nantucket and my skin broke out again. So it is clearly working. Sweet potato and wild rice hash. These are harvest bowls. Oh, I love these, okay. And then kale and sweet potato. Sweet potato flatbread, amazing. This morning I had a call with Laura who is like the medium that Dom and I did a video with a while ago just to like do updated stuff. And I just wanna say, it was like the craziest experience I've ever had. My cousin passed away when I was living in LA and I was there and it was horrible, very traumatic. We'll talk about that at a later time. But we were really, really close growing up and I have the star tattoo for her, right? I've, I haven't posted about this tattoo or talked about this tattoo in like four years probably. Like it's been a long time. I think I maybe brushed on the fact of like why I got it when I originally got it and that's it. And she was like asking like about my cousin and saying all these things from my like, childhood that I've never said anywhere else. And then said something about my tattoo. It was like, do you have a star tattoo? I'm, like that is so crazy. So anyways, guys, um, it's been a day. It's been a big day. Oh, I've been getting back into a little bit of like 12, 3, 30. I feel a lot better when I'm like moving, like when I go on walks or when I do 12, 3, 30 and stuff. And not just like a workout, I need the steps. So I did that today. I mean, it's really, oof, it's really been a day. Also, as always, my go-to Starbucks order. Sometimes it looks lighter. I have it saved as a highlight to my Instagram if you need it quicker when you're ordering. It's so freaking good. It doesn't look as good today because it looks darker than normal, but I promise it's amazing. All right, I just heated up some Daily Harvest. This is just a harvest bowl. It looks and smells incredible. It makes my life a lot easier. That's the one thing I hate. Like, I'm good making breakfast. I'm good. I love making dinner. I hate making lunch like what are you guys eating for lunch these days i have no inspo i hate taking a break from work like this is so ideal and then i've been trying to drink a few of these a day i've already finished one um but i'm gonna be back working until probably like five so i'll talk to you guys after because this is not entertaining all right taking a little work break but i'm about to order some chanel ballet flats i'm telling you guys right now ballet flats are really gonna be the move this fall and these are brown i mean they're perfect for me like these with jeans and like a white t-shirt or like a tight fitted sweater and then my bag. I mean, it's perfect. I know that a lot of people are gonna hate them, but I'm telling you guys, like this is this is where we're heading. So I'm hopping on board. I just recorded a solo episode. Um, I'm now going to five episodes a week on the, or a month, I wish a week, um, on the podcast, which I'm really excited about. But I recorded an episode all about like you're not behind, but I listed off so many people who like gained success later in life. Like things maybe didn't great, go great in their 20s, 30s, 40s even. Honestly, for me, even reading through it and going through it, it was just very freeing and it made me put a lot of less pressure on myself. You guys will hear it. It might be up when this goes up. Um, I'm not sure. The episode has been, I love it. Like, I'm so proud of it right now. I mean, I'm always proud of it. Like, I'm really proud of it right now. Um, I have a podcast episode recording for Under the Influence podcast in like 20 minutes. And the last like work thing I need to do today is make a vision board for the new breadwinning housewife drop that drops on, I can tell you guys now, September 6th. 
And this is gonna be limited edition. I mean, they're all limited edition. We're doing a smaller batch and we're not restocking anything. We don't restock anything at all. So if you guys want it, you need to like get your orders in ASAP. But I need to like, I feel like there's a lot of pressure now that I did so incredible with the last breadwinning housewife drop or the one from, was it Pink Kernak? It was just so good. I mean, I was shooting with the same photographer and I love her. So like this one just has to be really, really good. Just got a package from Jane Dottie Vintage, which is a business owned and based out of Fort Worth. I got a bunch of their hair accessories. Gosh, probably like a year and a half ago now. Um, they have like really cute scrunchies. They have a ton of great hair accessories and clothing. Look at what they just sent. Thank God, because I'm about to have to get ready for tonight. I'm going to a little happy hour. This in jeans and little like heeled sandals, I'm into. Look at this folklore sticker. Like, I love. Thank you for shopping small. Hags 22 for 25% off your next purchase. Um, Gosh, guys, like, so cute. Okay, first off, with love always, like, so cute. Wow. This is so cute. My hair feels kind of like gross today, so I think I'm gonna keep it up, but if not, oh my God, this is like so cute. I love this one. Wow, awesome. Okay, well, I'm gonna go change into this like immediately. All right, y'all, I ended up, oh, that's my shoe. This is too messy. Let's clean this. I don't, first off, this lamp broke. It needs to be replaced, but I don't know how to find the right replacement. And I didn't break it. it one of the dog sitters did an accident and it still needs to be replaced. So that's gotta get, oh, okay. This is not what I should have done. Okay, good enough. This water, this has gotta go. Whoop, that is my lip liner. Like, how did that even happen? I, I just, I don't know what I'm doing right now. Okay, anyways, um, I ended up not wearing the shirt tonight just because I wanted to go more casual. I'm wearing a chocolate brown just t-shirt from Set Active. These jeans from Zara, which are like so not the vibe for the jean I should be wearing today, but like I put them on and I just don't feel like finding another pair of jeans that like fit me that I like right now. They're from Zara, they're super, super cute. Um, they're just like more structured, like they're like a nicer, cooler jeans, not necessarily. Like for this look, I have these brown fuzzy slides from Revolve, which are also an interesting shoe choice for August. My Chanel bag, and I'm about to head out. I'm going to a restaurant that's new to me in Deep Ellum with Lauren, we got invited in and I don't know, we're just gonna try some things, make some TikToks, do all that stuff. I love a nice 5.30 reservation on a weekday. Like, there's nothing that I love more, you know? Good morning, y'all. It is 7 a.m., I'm about to head off to the trail. My dad and I are going on a walk this morning. Then I'm going to go weightlifting in a class I'll let y'all know how I like it. I've been wanting to start weightlifting. I thought I had to get a personal trainer. Turns out there's a class and I'm going to with my friend and she said she really likes it. Today, I'm also going to a new like health wellness place in Dallas and just open. Um, I'm hoping I want to do some like healthy cooking. I have a meeting with my HOA. It's gonna be a good day. We've got things going. I just um, I posted a video, like I'm feeling good. All right, I'm trying out Fit Social Club today. I'm going to do their weightlifting class, which I'm trying to do and see if I like that instead of personal training. I'm meeting a friend. Never been, Mockingbird Station. All right, guys, I just got back from my weightlifting class. I went to Fit Social Club and Mockingbird Station. I really liked it. My friend Lauren told me about it. We went together. It was so good, like actually so good. I think I'm gonna start doing that like twice a week and that really just, fixes my itch of wanting to weight train because I can just do it in a class, like so much better. So I'm doing that. I'm about to head over to, I think it's, what is it? Restore Hyper Wellness in West Village. I don't know exactly what I'm doing today. They invited me in cryotherapy, sauna, or compression boot. So I'm thinking I'm gonna do the infrared sauna because y'all know how I feel about an infrared sauna. I'm bringing my book, like I just love. I'm actually really interested in cryotoning, like really, really interested. So I might be asking some questions, you know? I like, kind of need a snack, but I'm gonna leave now and just get going. I'm excited. I can't talk right now because I'm just tired. I've been playing the Coastal Grandma playlist on Spotify. If you just search that, it comes up all morning. It puts you in the best mood. I listen to Nora Jones as is. That is what we were listening to all of Nantucket. So this is not really out of the ordinary. The other stuff though, it's so good. You just can't be in a bad mood while playing this playlist. 
It is so good. I made it to Hyper, what is it? Restore Hyper Wellness. It's really close to Core Power and Class Studios over here in the West Village. Look how many things they offer. I love infrared saunas and I've been saying we need more in Dallas. Like, love. All right, we're here in the infrared sauna, sun light, and like my dream is to have one of these in my house. So if like anyone works for sunlight and is watching this, keep that in mind. This is literally my dream for my house. But anyways, if I had this in my house, I would do it every single day. So anyways, I have it here. I normally do, you can like control the lights. I do um, blue sometimes. What do I do? Okay, where, which one? Maybe I'll do yellow today. We'll see. There's like all these reasons as to why. But I'm gonna change into my robe and get in the sauna and bring my Kindle. Wow, guys, this is like the most peaceful thing ever. I wanna start going here on the weekends in the morning because I find myself like having this issue on weekends where I'm like slightly hungover and then I have a baby and then I don't get up, I don't do anything about it, I'm lazy and I don't get out of my house until like night to go see my friends. And I wanna like do things during the day and that's partly because it's summer, like in the fall, I feel like we're way more likely to like go do things. But I'm going to be drinking less so I need to be like up, and if I don't wanna go work out, that's fine. I can come to the sauna and read. You know what I mean? That sounds like a good plan to me. Y'all, they also have eucalyptus towels. This is the best feeling ever. We used to have these outside of Hot Pilates. Now I get one every day. Oh my god, I miss them. None of the places I work out have these anymore, but anyways, incredible. Just did 40 minutes in the sauna, felt really good. I just need to start doing this on weekend mornings because I think it would like sweat out the alcohol, you know what I mean? So good. I don't want to mess up saying this brand. Please let me know how in the comments below. I mean, I can guess, but I'm not going to risk it on camera. I just got the world's cutest bag. I wish I would have had this for Nantucket last weekend. It would have been perfect, but like, have you ever seen anything so cute? I love these fun bags right now. I mean, it is so cute. Y'all, I was also sent a box again from Netflix. I was actually listening to Lily Reinhardt last night on, what was it, On Purpose? Doing promo for a movie, not shocking. I'm actually excited, I really wanted to watch this. And then, from Glasshouse Fragrances and Winston Pies, they sent me a pie. So I will be making that today. I hope I get a package from Glass House. It hasn't come yet. I really want new candles. But anyways, I just like can't stop staring at this bag. I love everything that I'm getting today. Amazing. Wait, stop. This is such a genius idea because the idea of the book, basically the premise of the, of the movie, that, of the book that I've gotten is that it just goes through like two different ways of her life would have gone. Like she moved to LA or she gets pregnant. I think as a teenager, I moved to Austin. Um, but amazing. Speaking of candles. Love a candle. Um, awesome. An Austin cookie. We've got some candy here. I mean, this is awesome. Like, really, really awesome. All right, I'm about to get to work. I'm having some leftover ramen. I'm just back in my routine and I'm feeling good. Um, but I'll be working for the next few hours until the HOA comes and I want to uh, cry. All right, y'all, it is 4.30, not to make everything about me, but I'm kind of like becoming convinced that my HOA is like fully out to get me and only me. Actually, no, they're out to get everyone, but like they canceled five minutes before when I've been trying to get this appointment for so long. Anyways, I'm drinking a coffee because I'm very tired. On the bright side, I just got the best call of my life. Um, and I'm going to declutter my closet because I just am always decluttering my closet. Like, take a shot every time I film a vlog, decluttering it. But I saw a lot of stuff just that neat. Well, that's already been decluttered. I just need to, like, go through some stuff. That is just PR in the bag I haven't put away yet. I can't get over how cute this bag is. Like, I'm absolutely obsessed with it, too. Like, okay, the bag collection that I have currently, that green one, I cannot believe I haven't used that yet because I was so excited to get it. I think because it's a bright green it's a little bit harder, but I also got my Chanel bag. So I was like so excited to use it. Anyways, I'm gonna use all of these this weekend. That is the plan, but I'm gonna go through and be absolutely ruthless and fill up at least two more trash bags. Cause there's a lot of tops in here that I just like, I don't need anymore. I don't wear them. I don't love them. You know what I mean? So I need to go through and also organize this. 
So I'm going to set a timer for 30 minutes, actually 20 minutes, so I can be more ruthless with it, you know? That's a really good life hack. You have to set timers. Here we are. This iPhone. I mean, like, you can't be in a bad mood, you know? All right, I did that with two minutes left. So now, as you can see, I got rid of a lot of stuff. Like, all of this stuff on the ground will go in trash bags. I just need to organize this. My arms are very sore from my weightlifting class earlier. So very inconvenient timing. Mainly, I just need to organize my tops and then dresses. From, like, going out dresses to casual daytime dresses. I have, like, seven of those Skims dresses in here as well. Um, but, yeah, I do donate this stuff. I'm not doing the shoes, by the way. Some of this stuff is just on the floor, but this pile. Um, I do donate my clothes. I have a specific, like, group that I give it to. So, anyways. Um, oh, you know what? I also need to move this stuff. But, anyways, I feel a lot better. So much less cluttered this is so much less cluttered it looks cluttered still maybe but it is a lot better over here I have like outfits or dresses that I would wear at night and then over here I'm wearing my daytime dresses skirts shorts pants I just don't have it in me to like try on all these jeans so I've been getting rid of stuff over time but like I just don't have it in me and then over here I don't have the energy right now or the strength <laughs> honestly my arms hurt to color code my closet and I normally have it by different things so tank nicer tank bodysuit t-shirt long sleeve and then I'll organize with a mat of like casual long sleeve which I haven't actually done yet so I need to do that really quickly but I'll do like night out long sleeve like actual like blouse top and then like comfy which I'll do right now but I can't color code these right now my arms are killing me last thing I have is this box over here which I have samples which is very exciting um, and just other stuff. I'll show you guys one thing we're breadwinning housewife because that's coming out September 6th But I need to hang some stuff, you know, put this stuff over and just figure it out Um, and then I also need to like put all this stuff away and then I might want to like plan a few outfits Kind of into that idea today. All right guys a little update. Well surprise guest appearance. Look who's back Jessica, do you want to give them a little, maybe a little 60 second update on where you've been? Um, I've been home in Connecticut for the past month because I got a breast reduction, <laughs> Woo! new titties, and yeah. I started a new job. So we're really like booked busy. That's really it. That's the life update. And if y'all are interested in a little breast reduction Q&A, Jessica's more than happy to do it. Yeah, comment. I posted a TikTok like in a little update. So if you have questions, you can comment on that TikTok. I also posted like a little bit of a vlog. I'm high on her set when I yeah. recorded the voiceover. <laughs> So, uh, listen. But it's funny. You should do a podcast episode on that, too. I was going to. I just, like, have not even had yeah. a second to, like, sit down. She's like, an employed girly I'm now. I'm an 8 to 5 girly. And let yeah. me tell you, 8 to 5, it's much tough. harder than 9 to 5. Just gotta get up early. Yeah, it really sucks. Yeah. Okay, so a little update on my closet. It looks so much better. Also, I got new jewelry that I thought I brought upstairs, and I guess I haven't brought up. But I got new Kendra Scott stuff sent in the mail. I opened it today. Incredible. It's so, Scott. yeah, of course. Um, but here's the thing, like, Kendra Scott was, like, such a southern thing, so I never thought it was, like, my thing, obviously. Some I of the stuff, the jewelry sometimes that you compliment on me on, it's Kendra Scott. Because they have really simple, like, let me, I don't know if I can, I have it in my, it's not even here right now. Like, that is not what I'm talking about. Like, that's more, like, if I was going on, like, a beach, fun, Devin Carlson vibe. Gonna... Well, maybe they're not stare. I showed them in the vlog already, but, like, they're actually, like, simple, cute. You would wear it every day. Like, yeah. very cute. 
Anyways, organized here, organized there. I started planning some outfits and then I realized that I suddenly have no clothes after I did all that and I don't know what to wear. But it's fine because I have a lot of laundry that needs to be done on Friday. So after that, then I'll have more stuff. But I do have things like I do want to wear this. I want to start wearing like I like that with a long skirt. I even have other skirts. I'm getting really into skirts these days, I've noticed from what I've been trying to like pull on websites. My skin's dress with sneakers, like, you know, I need to wear this. I've had it for forever. Oh, anyway, so I wanted to show you guys the Breadwinning Housewife sets. These are limited edition. So when they go live on September 6th, you will want to buy it immediately. If you want me to give you a little detailed shot, this vlog will be up. I actually don't even know, but like Breadwinning, we've got astronauts, we've got chefs, we've got Headphones, we've got horses. Like, it's so cute. Can't fit anything. Guys, look at how many bags I have to donate. It's crazy. All right, it's been a second. I remember now where my jewelry is. I put it in this bag. But anyways, Kendra Scott will really surprise you guys. Let me, let me show you. All right, so these earrings are so cute. I'm gonna start wearing them all the time. I love earrings like this. Like, I've really been into more of this over a hoop. Just think they're so cute. This bracelet, which looks way too small right now, but it looks like it can be bigger. I would wear this every single day. I need good, subtle, everyday jewelry. And then this necklace is just classic. Like, I love this stuff. It's so cute. All right, guys, I just showered. I feel so much better now that my closet is so clean. I have so much to donate, just feeling good. Anyways, I'm about to make a new recipe. This is what I always do when I'm like getting back into my routine besides like the boring day-to-day -day stuff that like is boring to even show. But I'm making Italian sausage stuffed zucchinis. I'll be again sharing the recipe on Instagram and TikTok. This is when I'm like, dang, I really wish I was like going to the farmer's market, which I'll be picking back up this fall hopefully. Just because like naturally when things are like organic and better, the zucchini is bigger. But anyways, you make them as boats. Y'all will see it's really, really easy. I need to get mozzarella out and basil, I think. I think that's it. I mean, it's actually a very simple meal. If this is y'all screen saver on your TV too, like I hate it. It ruins the mood. Like this is calming, zen. That is not right so uh how do i fix that and this is not a smart tv so like what do i do I just finished. I forgot to add the breadcrumbs in the bowl when I was mixing them, but it smells really good. It looks really good. I'll keep y'all posted. Um, but I feel like this is like such an easy dinner to make. Good morning, y'all. It is Thursday morning, 7 a.m. I'm walking to the coffee shop. Taking myself on well, it's a long walk, but taking myself on a nice little solo date this morning, and I'm gonna write at the coffee shop. I don't never really come on when I write all the time, but like, I've never found like a writing date, you know. So that's what I'm doing. A new Starbucks opened up, which I am so excited about on Greenville, and I'm like really out of breath from this walk. I can't lie to you guys, I'm not doing well. Beautiful new Starbucks drive through. So happy. Y'all, this is giving me like college vibes right now. When I used to go to Starbucks like 7 a.m. to work and do stuff before school and read, here we are. So I'm actually about to run some errands. I'm going, I'm putting this black t-shirt on over because I'm going to go, go do Pilates in this. I know that my self tanner is going to stain it and uh, then I have to go to Pilates, or no, then I have to go to therapy. It's really a, Thursdays are wild. 
But I just wanted to say my new episode with Ryan went up. It's titled, We Broke Up and Got Back Together, the reunion episode. If y'all are OG vlog viewers, podcast listeners, you guys would remember my best friend Ryan from college. And if not, you need to listen to this episode because he is the funniest, greatest, coolest person in the entire world. He has the best voice, very strong, like Massachusetts accent. Like he is just amazing. Like he, he's so good in the episode. We're talking about like, friend breakups, we're talking about he lost his mother, so we're talking a little bit about grief, reconcili reconciliation, um, we're talking about morning pages, right? Like, it's, honestly, even if you're not interested in any of the topics, you need to listen to the episode because it's such a feel-good episode. I um, don't like listening to a lot of my episodes because I'm really hard on myself, so I will just, like, take constructive criticism from feedback from my producers and stuff um, instead of, like, hating myself and never wanting to post a podcast episode ever again. This episode is so good. You guys need to listen to it. I feel like it's just, it's different than the other ones, you know? Um, so this morning I wrote, I sent it for masterclass. I'm doing some things with, you know, my artist way journey, which are my solo dates. Um, and writing in a bunch of other things. What else did I do? Went to the new Starbucks. It's so nice. Ran into my father there. We didn't have plans to walk this morning. So naturally we ran into each other at Starbucks. What else? Oh, I had a meeting with a potential virtual assistant, which I think will be helpful just getting some stuff done, you know? So now I need to run some errands, do some returns, drop the dogs off to get baths, Pilates therapy, you guys will see some. Anyways, that is the plan. Um, I need my Dyson attachment, like the actual brush that smooths out your hair. I lost it and I can't find it just like buying the attachment and not another set. Obviously I'm not gonna do that. And I need it because it makes my hair look so much better. So anyways, we're off. Okay, just picked up some breakfast. I got a green juice and then my favorite sunrise wrap. It's so good. Hopefully, I'm, this, it's one of the same hits, right? It's not even what I get. It's really incredible. I'm about to head off to Pilates, but just had to get like a little breakfast in. Also, my dad literally just gave me, first off, the shiner. I haven't taken that out in weeks. My dad gave me a Christmas gift from my step-grandparents. Um, it, is, it was like August 16th when he gave me that, so love that. The pups are back from their bath. Fitz looks so handsome. They gave him a yellow bow tie this time. We really prefer the black ones, but oh, Coco wants some attention as well. Oh, wow. She wants to show you. Oh, you look kind of a little evil girl. Look at her cute little handkerchief that she clearly really badly wants to show you. Oh, they messed it up with her collar, but all right. That's a little, I, I love what you did there, girl. Looks great, yeah. Okay, <laughs> guys. Look what just arrived. Martha Stewart did a collab with Anti-Social Social Club. I think I actually ordered two things, but it's finally arrived. I love Martha Stewart. I think this is just absolutely iconic. I am so excited. This is the best hoodie ever. All right, off to the event. back from the event but I cannot even express to you the love that I have for this bag I just love it so much I wish I had it for Nantucket it's just like the cutest thing I've ever seen good morning guys it is 6 50 I just filled up my water bottle waking up this morning it was tough I've also been kind of bad about my morning pages guys like I was doing really good and then I skipped when I was in Nantucket even though I had it with me and then I got it wet yesterday, and I'm almost done with this journal. I have four minutes until I'm gonna leave, so I'm gonna try to do it really fast, and then if not, I'll do it later. Or something you're supposed to do in the morning. I just, I'm meeting my dad, I can't be late. So anyways, happy Friday. I'm going to walk the trail, and then I'm going to a boxing class, which I'm really excited for. So, I need to go do this. Happy Friday, everyone. Just left a walk with my dad. Um, I have an hour until boxing starts. Oh, I need to get air in my tires. So maybe I'll do that and then I'll take the dogs out or something and then go to boxing. I'm going to Ding Ding. Well, I've only gone once, but this is my new boxing place in Dallas. I love it. It's on Ross. So good. Okay 
guys, I'm back from boxing. It was such a good class. I'm going tomorrow at 1120 as well. I'm so excited because not only am I back on my routine this week, I got so much done. I got my blood drawn, did random stuff, did with HOA things, like all the stuff I've just been putting off, I've pretty much done this week. Um, but also tonight, I'm back to my Friday night weekly routine, which is dinner at Honor Bar with the girls, drink some monkey bar before if we wait, and uh, probably like go out on Henderson for a bit. I'm not gonna like do anything crazy, crazy tonight, but it just feels good to be back, you know? So anyways, great boxing class. I feel alive, you know? I really like this new little workout routine I've got. I'm gonna talk about that a lot more in next week's vlog and just like random stuff. Like, I just have so much more energy when I'm taking care of myself, obviously, but like these people are not lying. You know what I mean? And my mental clarity and my mental health, I've always worked out for that because I have very bad anxiety and sometimes depression. And so the only thing that like really helps me over time and just daily, honestly, is working out or like movement or whatever it is. And I just like love it. But I will say, not only is my head so much clearer this week, but also I have more energy. I'm just, wow. At noon, I have a very exciting call for my Dallas girls and guys. Um, I really want to do a Dallas like in-person book club and I think I have a place that we're gonna do it and it's gonna be very cool. I've posted about it before. I don't know, we have a call new, but I'm thinking it's gonna happen. Um, and we're gonna do quarterly, hopefully. So like once a season and it's gonna be great. I already know the first book will pick. This will probably be in November. Um, so like not immediately, it needs to be in November for us to do the book, hint, hint. Comment below if you guys can guess. Also, if y'all are watching this, comment butterfly emojis on my latest Instagram post and I will like stalk some of you guys. I sent some of you guys in the comments on my Instagram Starbucks this morning. You really want to be in my Instagram comments. I'm telling you this. I'm always, I'm always messaging. Also update on my Versace room. What a good buy. I'm going to change into sweats and get downstairs, do some work. Then at 2.30 the HOA is coming. I have cooking class with my dad at four. Um, I think I've been working. It's just been such a good day at work. So much good news. New samples came in. Everything is just looking beautiful. All right, I'm going upstairs. I need to replace these light bulbs. Like this is just not the vibe. I think this one actually still goes. Right? Oh no. We're done for. Okay, well, that'll happen in probably six months. Anyways, moving on into here. I am in such a good mood. My house is so clean. I'm definitely wearing this bag out tonight. Need to put this, see my bags need to be reorganized, but this needs to go up there. Um, oh God. But I'm telling you like, I wanna wear my Bella and Edward purse tonight, but realistically I can't cause I have to bring my vlog camera. So this is what I left on with what I think I'm gonna wear. Let me show you, hold on. This, I don't love that with that. I feel like I need jeans. The only downside to having the best closet that has like quite literally ever existed is that I got doors so I can't see everything all at once, which is nice because it makes it not look messy. But then sometimes it's just like, I, I can't, I'm a visual person, I'm a visual learner, I need things out in front of me. Um, but as we know, I mean, the star of this vlog, this bag. Um, I, I don't like it with any of the outfits that I had planned. Oh, that's so nice of you, Coco. No, seriously, just keep barking. I'll be happy. I'll keep it up. Also, y'all, September 6th. That is just so exciting. But I like cannot, I don't know. I'm really having troubles. Okay, I'll be back. Hello, everyone. It is later. It is almost 4 p.m. My dad and I are going to Starbucks really quickly and then we're going to a cooking class and then I'm going to Friday night dinner. Got changed. I spent one weekend in Nantucket and this is how I dress now. Like, I don't know what happened to me. It was clearly a very, very influential trip. But we're at the new Starbucks drive-thru, which is really so exciting. Oh my God, it's beautiful. Got a little snack and a pink drink. Cause that's what was sounding very, very good. Dad, how excited are you for this cooking really class? Really excited, where we uh, get next? Oh, so this is actually my father's, um, very much so delayed Father's Day gift because he couldn't decide what he wanted and then so this was a good idea. So anyways, we're going back. I've vlogged there. I've been there twice. This is my third time. It is so much fun. Knox Henderson, like love it. 
off we go to my favorite activity, cooking class. It is so much fun. You know, so a lot of this last year has been working through grief and loss, you know, and uh, remembering a lot of the lessons that she has taught me has helped me to to get through a lot of this. Um, and I'm just, I'm, I, I'm thankful, honestly, in the end, you know, I'm, I, where I'm at right now with everything that has gone on, um, I, I'm thankful. Yeah. So it, it like even getting to sit here and do this with you is very special after everything that, that has gone on, you know, um, it's very special to me.